Hi guys, welcome to the SOC Classes Tech. Lesson number four: Current Electricity and Magnetism. Class eight, Science. We have to look the exercise of this lesson. So let's start today's video. So this is the exercise of the this lesson. The first question is related to the. Write the proper word from the following group of the word in the blanks. You have to choose uh, choose the one word and put in this blank space. Then the second question. Then third, then fourth, fifth, and sixth. There is all the very easy question. We are uh, going to look the one by one. How is it solved? Okay, it's page number twenty-seven. The first question is that you have to choose the any word from the group of the words and put here. The first question is the water in the waterfall flows from higher level to the lower level because of the answer is the potential answer is the potential directly we uh, are going to see the answers the potential then question number b is that in an electric circuit the electron flow are from a point of higher potential to the point of lower potential higher potential to the point of the lower potential so these are the blank spaces that we have filled with the words then see the difference between the electrostatic potential of the positive and negative ends of the electric cell is the potential of the cell if you look the any dry cell you will find the positive terminal and negative terminal the difference between those two point that is the potential of that cell the three electrical cell sorry three electric cell of the potential difference 1.5 volt each have been connected as a battery the potential differences of the battery will be if the all added in the series then we will get the addition of that it means the 1.5 1.5 and 1.5 means 1.5 volts an electric current flow in the wire creates a magnetic field around the wire when the uh, electrical uh, when the current is flowing through the wire it create a magnetic field around that wire so then the page number 27 you have to go on that page and see the question second question is that the battery is to be formed by joining the three di cell with connecting a wires show how will you connect the wire by drawing the diagram so this is the very easy diagram the positive terminal of the first cell is connected to the wire then negative terminal of the that cell is connected to the positive terminal of the other cell and other cells negative terminal is connected to the other cells positive terminal and thus way we get the two connection positive and negative which is shown in this by uh, in this diagram so you can show it like this Plus minus plus minus plus minus. So this is the element of that batteries. Question number third. In an electric circuit, the battery and bulbs have been connected, and the batteries consist of the two cells of equal potential differences. if the bulb 
is not glowing then switch test will be you perform in order to find out the reason for the bulb is not glowing the following test should be performed to find out the reason why the bulb is not glowing so what are the test so these are the three test first check how the terminal of the batteries are connected to each other ensure that the positive terminal of the one battery is connected to the negative terminal of the other battery if the batteries are connected in this way and even the bulb does not glow go for the next test which is given the below means this is a positive terminal of the battery which is which is should connected to the negative terminal of the other battery it should keep in mind then check for the broken wire in the circuit ensure that the wire used for connecting the various electrical component are not broken in the between is that ensure that the circuit is closed even after ensuring that the wire are not broken in between the bulb does not glow move to the next step which is given below what is that test that test is that check how the connecting wires are connected to the bulbs ensure that the bulb is connected to the batteries using the connecting wires are shown in below even now if the bulb is not glow replace the bulb or batteries with the new ones so this is the test that we can determine why the bulb is not glowing question number 4 the electrical cells having the two old potential difference each have been connected in the form of a battery what will be the total potential difference of the battery in the both cases okay look the each battery have a potential difference of 2 volt means 2 volt 2 volt 2 volt means 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus equal to 6 volt and put second number there is a four cell which means the addition of that four cell is on is the eighth it means the potential difference of that cell become a eight because there is a four cell so here we got the answer question number 5 describe the construction and working usefulness of the die cell with the help of the diagram so this is the diagram of the die cell construction the die cell consists of the following components outer metal covering so this is the outer metal covering the metal covering is made of the zinc metal and the white is is uh, white is in the appearance it act as a negative terminal of the cell then electrolytes inside the zinc metal there is a electrolyte field between the two layers electrolytes is the wet pulp of the zinc chloride zncl2 and ammonium chloride nh4cl it is a charge carrier of the electricity as it contain the negatively charged and positively charged ions the metal rods there is a graphite rod at the center of the cell it is surrounded by the paste of magnesium magnesium dioxide mno2 it act as a positive terminal of the cell so this is the diagram of that cell the carbon electrode which is shown in the black color the magnesium dioxide then protective cover of the zinc zinc cover and inside the electro lights the working of the die cell the chemical reaction take place between the electrolytes zinc container and the graphite rod because of this electrical charge is produced on the two terminal of the cell and electric current flows in the circuit usefulness of the die cell they are handy and portable the life of the die cell is longer than the cell using the liquid electrolytes the die cell can be used in the torch tv or ac remote controls toys etc then the question number 6 describe the construction and working of the electrical bell with the help of the diagram the construction and working of the electrical bell the electromagnet of the copper wire is wound around the iron piece which act a magnet when the current flow through it the striker in the touch with the contact screw through a iron strip 
द मेटल कॉन्ग द की और स्विच द वर्किंग ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल बेल वेन द स्विच इज ऑन देन द स्क्रू इज कॉन्टेक्ट विद द आयन स्ट्रिप द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट फ्लो थ्रू द कॉपर वायर विच गेट मैग्नेटाइज बिकॉज ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिज्म दिस मैग्नेटिज्म कॉपर वायर अट्रैक्ट द आयन स्ट्रिप टू अड इट द लेटिंग द स्ट्राइकिंग हिट द गोंग एंड द साउंड इज प्रोड्यूस एज सुन एज द स्ट्राइक हिट द गोंग द स्क्रू लूज इज इज कॉन्टैक्ट विद द आयन स्ट्रिप एंड देयर फॉर द करंट स्टॉप इन द सर्किट At this point, the electromagnetic lose its magnetic and magnetism, and the ion strip move back and comes in the contact with uh, come with the contact screw. The electrical current is the restorer in the circuit, and again the strike hits the gong by the above process. This action repeats itself, and the bell is rings. So, if you want to. look the diagram of that bell i will show you so this is the diagram of that uh, electrical bell how is it work we have uh, just uh, discussed so this is the diagram of that bell you may note it so guys in such a way that we have completed the our uh, exercise of uh, of the lesson number uh, for the current electricity and magnetism next video we will bring you the exercise of the inside the atom till then keep safe keep studying and god bless you